Good morning. My name is John Whitmayer. I'm the director of music ministry at Salem Lutheran Church and School in Afton, Missouri. And it's my privilege to bring you a devotion this morning. Today's devotion is another in this series of Monday Blessings written by my father, Pastor Gary Whitmayer, during his time in active ministry. Today's devotion is based on Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, which reads, Created in Christ Jesus for good works. Pastor Gary writes, Mother had spent most of the day sewing. She was patching clothes, darning socks, and making a new apron for herself. I checked her progress often. One would not guess that a little boy was interested in his mother's sewing, but I found it extremely interesting. But your first guess was right. I was not the least bit interested in whether the hole in the knee of my pants had been patched or how pretty the new apron was going to be. The intrigue was in the thread spool. Would she use it all? I could hardly wait to get the spool. Hand sewing didn't consume thread at a very rapid pace. I so envied my pals whose mothers had sewing machines. Today, I wanted to blow bubbles. A bar of PNG soap from my mother's washboard, a cup of water, and a, th a thread spool is all I needed. Dip the spool in the water. Rub it back and forth over the bar of soap. Now, carefully and gently blow through the hole. I said, Mother, watch, I'll blow a bubble for you. With a little practice, one could blow a magnificent bubble. This is truly what one would call a handcrafted bubble, made with love. How gentle, how patient, how persistent one had to be to make a really great bubble. It was the challenge of the day. I think mothers actually liked boys to do this. It was probably as close to soap and water as any boy ever got voluntarily. I could waste an hour or so trying to create the most perfect of bubbles. And when I had, there was no way to preserve it. If, by chance, mother was watching, she might witness the instant of my success. Otherwise, it was only something one could relate. A large bubble floating away on the breeze as my heart thumped with pride. A smile of satisfaction on my soapy face. Then, in an instant, it burst into nothingness. Nothing, that is, but a memory, and the urge to create another just like it. I would do it all over again and again, knowing that success would only be short-lived, but oh so satisfying. The blessed satisfaction of accomplishment needs no audience. In Christ, we, his brothers and sisters, have come to recognize the daily needs of our own fellow man. They seem trivial to the grandiose philanthropists of the world. The simple drink of water, the gentle hug, the shared worry, the sincere encouragement, the hand-holding, the caring smile, the tacit approval, the simple courtesy, all are so needed and yet so transitory. But to the needy recipient, it is long remembered. Your Heavenly Father has seen it approved it, and put it in your heavenly treasure chest. God says, well good, thou, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And with that assurance of its worth, even though it seems to disappear without a trace, the urge to do it again, bigger and better than before, fills our hearts. The bubble may burst, but its love lasts forever. Would you please pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the love that you show us, especially through the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus. Help us to show and share that love with all those we meet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching and listening today. It's been a pleasure to bring this devotion to you. May God bless your Monday and your entire week. Thank you and goodbye.